right, coming up next, ah, uh, yes, a women's strawweight matchup between Marina Moroz and JoJo Calderwood. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Well, at her core, DC, of course, she is an MMA fighter, but much of the narrative recently has surrounded her boxing skills that at this point are, are really off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable how she has adapted the boxing to mixed martial arts, right? It's the level changes, and I think that's where you saw the difference. When she stopped just trying to find the head with the jab, and she started jabbing to the body. She started going head jab, body right hand, left hook. It was just her going from top to bottom, up and down, was truly amazing, and it is what has propelled her to these last few great performances that have ended in knockout. She has fallen in love with her hands. You do not want to fight her on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than five years apart, with similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Glasgow, Scotland, Joanne Calderwood. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 10 wins, three losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Marina Iron Lady Morose! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Two of the best strikers in the women's game today and the expectations are we're not going to see a lot of takedown attempts on either side. No takedown attempts from either of these young women. They both want to get to the center of the octagon and start to just let the hands and the kicks fly. This is the type of matchup that we always look forward to. Moreau's able to land there. So the fighters clinch here early, and she has really historically done some of her best work in these type of fighting situations. Yes, she does a great job of overwhelming them with this clinch position. With all the homework, with all the detail, it's hard to keep up. She gives them a test every single day. You don't get a test every week, every right. quarter. You get a test every day whenever you're fighting this young lady. And they separate. Massive head kick. She connects there, so the hands look good tonight. Great timing to land that punch. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Huge connection fire there. Massive shot lands. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Beautiful body kick. Oh! Watch knees to the body. Nice straight punch. Moroz gets in the clinch yet again. Oh. 
Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. And they separate. Oh, how about the volume of elbows and the doctor salivating backstage because he's got a lot of stitch work coming his way later. I love the aggressiveness that she fights with. And she wants to see you bleed. She wants to cut you. That's why she's throwing so many elbows back to back. All 25 total strikes, wow, which have landed for Joanne Calderwood. Rose's kick attempt there blocked. Big body kick lands. Let's make a Let's get going. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing. Oh! So she holds on to her heel, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. And she caught the kick. Oh, nice big knee. Just unable to get around. So what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to be there. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's gonna be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's gonna control the engagement from this 50-50 position. That strike blocked by Morose. Oh, she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Great punch. Calderwood's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Swing and a big miss by Morose. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Nice loopy punch. Nice jab, counter for her there. Clinch. And they separate. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown deal? Nice punch there by Calderwood. Big knee lands there. Beautiful knee. Now she's got the Muay Thai plum. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. Seconds to go in the round. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, that's a good straight punch by her there. Nice combination of speed and power on that attack. The speed and timing it takes to land a strike like this is beautiful. And she has that ability to do it multiple times a fight. 
All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it to actually get the finish? Take a breath. You're doing good, but I need you to do better now. Okay? I need you to relax and find your range. I need you to be first. I need to get You ready? You ready? The third round underway. So she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Back in the clinch now. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Able to check that kick as well. Trying to establish that jab once again. JoJo Calderwood gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Left hand punch in the clinch. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's powers, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. All the damage to that leg starting to take its toll. You see her limping a little bit. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch. And of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you'll leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Nice. Punch there. All right, I'm gonna put you in this fighter's shoes, okay? She is clearly losing this fight. Time is not her friend right now. You going for the finish or what? I am biting down on the mouthpiece, and I am swinging from the hip. Something has to land so that she can win this fight. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand to get very active. And they separate. That was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. We set it inside the Ladies octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Contest at four minutes, six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Joanne Calderwood. Oh, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.